Hey my crafty planners, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for stopping by in another video. Today's video is super fun. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a series of October daily setup. So the first one here is going to be a Halloween stash and some of the things that I'm going to be using. And then stay tuned for part two. I will be touring my Halloween cart that I have set up. You probably have seen a sneak peek on Instagram but this is gonna be so exciting. So if you guys wanna see my October daily Halloween stash, then keep on watching. Okay, so this um, video is just gonna be some of the things that I have here, and then again, stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna share my Halloween cart that I set up. But if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm Sarah, all things creating and planning and just having fun with all the things. So especially Halloween. So Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year or I just get more crafty around this time of year and I'm trying to be better at October Daily. So you probably have already seen my October Daily flip through. Um, last week I uploaded that if you guys wanna check that out. And I'm kind of going the same route. I'm gonna use the disc system. I'm kind of sharing this love for October Daily with planners so crafty and planners can create together. So <laughs> this will be something like that. So I'm hoping that, cross my fingers, that everything will look okay. So for the theme I'm going with is mainly orange, black, white, and some gold. So I'm definitely going old school traditional Halloween colors. So I have some paper pads here that I'd like to share with you that I have that I'm going to pull some sheets from. Um, not in this video, but I'm just going to share the paper pad. And then I have this container here that has some of the things to start setting up my um, disc system. Normally, if you're new to October Daily, it's mainly like a actual album where you can make it by scratch or you can use a ring system. I'm definitely going to use the disc bound system because I am a planner and I really, um, so I'll, I have my October Daily from last year. So I did this one last year and I really like it. It's super cute. It's very simple um, to you know, it's very manageable to do if you're new to October Daily, and I really liked it. So it's super cute, and it's kind of when I, it's the same route that I would like to do this year, but I'm hoping to go more traditional and hopefully adding some more interactive pages in there. So that's what I have in here. So this container will sit on my desk, and it will be like projects that I'm working on to put in my um, October daily. So right now I have like some webs and it'll have pieces to decorate the cover. I have this cute little um, paper pocket thing that I made a long time ago. I just had it in my stash and it's a cute little tag that I distressed and I added a stamp. So this I definitely want to add um, in my album and put like cute little pictures or memorabilia in there like right now I'm collecting we went to the pumpkin patch for the first time in California so I want to put these wristbands in there so I have that um, I'm thinking about so I'm going to do a b6 wide size for my disc system um, so I have the cardstock here and I just need to assemble it I kind of took it apart it is a simply gilded um, little journal that I got in a subscription box. I have some die numbers that I'm going to start punching out in pattern paper for the 31 days to document and I want to use different pattern paper. I have some letters in here that I can use. These are stamps and I think stamps would be, I think stamps would be really great if you have white ink or um, silver or gold, I think is really pretty um, stamp, stamped out on black cardstock paper. So I have that in here. Um, I have this one here. It is actually Prima um, stamps, and it's actually planner stamps, but it's like uh, a calendar yearly holiday stamp, and there are some Halloween stamps in here that I'm going to actually place on my Halloween cart, but I just have it in here because I finally went through my entire Halloween stash and I was kind of organizing everything. Okay, so I have this piece here. Um, I think I got this in a Halloween swap. It's a little card. 
I thought I could cut this out and maybe put it on the front. So I have some options here. I just don't know what I want to do. Also, these were sent to me in a Halloween swap mail. So I love the jack o lanterns I could use them just by himself. I could stack them like this, and this would be a cute cover. I have some butterflies here. I really like the black and orange, and that's you know the colors that I'm going with. So I was thinking those could be pretty on the cover. And these are just stampability um, dimensional stickers from Hobby Lobby. Okay, and then this was another, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had shared in a IGTV live, I think, or in stories, I got these journals, notebooks from Recollections, and I thought this would be a cute size. So I took it apart and punched it out. So it's like a TN size. So that was an option. Here's the actual, um, I already took it apart. I just need to punch it. So that's the actual notebook. I got that in a Clarence, I think either 2019 or 2020. Um, and then I would love to make a charm. I have these in my stash. I've had for a very long time and just haven't done it. Um, these are from Joann's in the jewelry section. And these are all Halloween related. It says Hocus Pocus. Witch and Fabulous, Eat, Drink, and Be Scary, Happy Halloween, Rip and Wicked, and then this cute skeleton. It's a little heavy. I don't know if this is all going to work for me, but we'll see. And then I have these little lobster claws and jump rings that I got at the dollar store. So those are like my assemble cover stuff for my actual planner. And this I'm just going to put on my cart, but that's what I have in here. And this will stay on my desk for all like assembling and projects that I'm working on. So for a paper pad, I have this um, eight by eight. This is just blank um, cardstock paper with nothing on it. And it has glitter as well. Mainly I got this for the black. So I have this one. I have some extra letters that'll go with my theme. These are happy plan, happy planner mambi sticks i picked these up at joann's okay the rest of this is my own personal stash that i've had collected um throughout the years and a lot of it is either scrapbook.com or scrapbookpal.com or tuesday morning um this is american crafts which i got at tuesday morning so i want to use the black and orange stickers on that this is is this Echo Park? No, Simple Stories. Every time I look at this, I think of Echo Park. This is Simple Stories. And yeah, that's been in my stash. But I was thinking the letters and then just the black and orange stickers. I have some black and white cardstock. I've just had this for a long time. Um, this one actually, I think, yeah, this one's at Hobby Lobby. Okay, this one I just picked up at Joann's. American Crafts. This one I got at American Crafts. Or Joann, sorry. It's American Crafts. I got at Joann's. I like the pumpkins in the black. So these are single sheets. And they're a lot thinner than the cardstock and the paper pads. Um, okay. I got this one. Little ghosties. Got two of those single sheets and then this I got it Tuesday morning a long time ago it's a pack and it gives me Tim Burt Tim so it gives me Tim Burton vibes and it's kind of thin too it's like this it's not like real thick cardstock but um, I thought I could use this but I did like go through my scraps so I have a 12 by 12 bin when I've done Halloween crafting I always save my scraps and I put them in a separate bin so in here are all the black and white and oranges scraps that I had that I pulled and I'll go through that in a minute okay so for um, 12 by 12 paper pads this one's new Halloween party this one you can get at Joann's if it's available I had to drive so far away for me to grab this so I have this one it's really cute. This one I've had for a long time. It does have like um, some purples and greens, but I'm just gonna go through here and pull the sheets that are all 
you know, black and white. And this one actually has some sticker sheets, which is fun. And it's glossy with some orange foiling. I love the cat. I think I made a Happy Planner classic cover last year for October with this pattern paper collection because I remember that cat. So I have some fun cuttables, like I could use this one. Hopefully I'm in frame. <laughs> this one, I could use this one. And then this is double-sided. So I can use these as well. This one's really cute and fun. Maybe next year I'll do purple and green or something. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember this cat, if you follow me on my Instagram in the planner world. Um, if you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing and craft with me as long as, as well as planning. But yeah, I made a cover with those cats last year for the classic. I love this one. This will be really fun. It, al it already has like that distressing look. Yeah, so this is a fun one. It does have like more of a comical graphics in here. Super fun. I've, I got this one at Tuesday morning, I think. I don't even know if our Tuesday morning here in Cali is even open anymore. I think they closed down during 2020, which is very unfortunate. Um, okay, and the last one I have here, again, I definitely probably got it at Tuesday morning because it's $6.99. And this one, they're all DCVW, DCWV, sorry, set that backwards. I do that sometimes. Um, yeah, this one has a lot of great cuttables with hollow to it. With the black and orange and white, those are going to be perfect. I'm so excited to start this. I am definitely more prepared than I have ever been with October Daily, but I have this one called Happy Halloween, Spooky Halloween, and Halloween Party, and then the single sheets, so that that'll all be fun. Okay. So then I have this smaller container that I have a lot of my scraps in. And again, I just went through my Halloween stash, which is a bunch of other 12 by 12 clear containers like this, just full of Halloween stuff. And I actually got a lot of it organized because last year I just kind of put it away and didn't really organize it. But it's just a bunch of scraps from Echo Park, Simple Stories, um, a lot of this collection. You can definitely find in your local craft scrapbook store if they have it. Um, like a mom and pop scrapbook store. I don't think Joann's and all that carries Echo Park and all that. Um, or scrapbook.com. That's what I used to do because they would always get the collections, the new collections that came out. But like pieces like this, I could use as a Polaroid. So sometimes I just kind of leave it. So I have d different scraps in here and I just pulled out a lot of the black and white that I have. These will probably get used up for making my numbers. So that's something fun you can do. You can change your numbers. When you number your pages, you can change them up every single day. And then some glitter. Okay, in this little baggie, um, so I'm a stamper and I stamp out a lot of my stamps and I color them up. These I can leave black and white. I paper piece these images. It's where you stamp on pattern paper, cut it out and put it, you know, fill in it. It's like a puzzle, really cute. So these are wooden stamps. I actually have that stamp. So that's what's in here. It's just little, actually, my in my scraps I had these. This is a digital download that I bought from someone off of Etsy. It's a little clown girl. She's super cool. Um, and then I made these a long time ago. 
these little embellishments. They're out of cupcake toppers. I thought I could put that on there somehow. Um, I have some acetate. I have these cupcake liners, but they're really cool because you can use them for your decorating your pages. Um, I have some foam stickers, some letters, and then more digital downloads that I'm coloring. Because I love doing that. So I have these here. This one's supposed to be like zombie and Frankenstein and then candy corn. But I love doing that. Super cute. All right, so that is part of my Halloween stash that I'm sharing today in my video for October daily prep. It's just a couple more days around the corner. So stay tuned for a tour of my Halloween cart where I'll share my embellishment, sticker books, stamps, um, some journaling cards, all my Halloween washi. So that'll be fun. So hopefully you will stick around for that. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe and happy crafting. Bye.